Hey y'all, it is me, Snap, Drop, and Roll On. And uh, y'all know what I just got through doing, okay? I don't even have to tell you, y'all already know, but I'm checking in anyway. Um, I just uh, basically plugged in um, a five mile walk, Leslie Saying Song. I did it here off YouTube and just plugged it in. And um, I did four miles out of five. And actually, that tape, I like. Just as well as I like the four mile boosted walk because uh, they do a lot of arm movement on this one. This is a different one than I did even yesterday. Um, they do a lot of arm movement on it, and also they do like uh, it's the pace is good all the way through, but this one here they they pace it and then it boost up and then it. Uh, goes back kind of downish a little bit and then she boosted up so it's fast then medium then fast then medium and i imagine that fifth mile is probably slower or whatever but i don't know because like i said at four i cut it off oh my goodness what a day i had a day i had a day um and i don't mean it really in a negative sense i actually don't mean it that way at all i had a good day um and it was because of some decisions that i just made i, I made the decision starting this morning now one i had to get a little bit of help with but you know that's you know that goes back to what i said the other day okay some stuff you can do by yourself some stuff you can't okay but um it overall it ended up turning out perfect and so um I had, you know, like I said, I had some unfinished business. So this particular video will be kind of sorta about unfinished business, kind of sorta, but that's not the name of the video. The name of this video is Fat Meat is Greasy and Water is Wet. Okay? It is, those are two things that are just true. Okay? I am a Southern person, like y'all kind of already figured out, okay, by the way I sound and all that other stuff and some of the things that I talk about. Um, and, um, when you're from the South, you eat a certain way. It's not the healthiest way to eat, but it is, you know, what you grow up eating. Okay. I have never, ever eaten a piece of fat meat that was not fat. Um, I really don't, I mean, like people eat bacon, uh, or whatever. I've never, I mean, even, I remember when I was growing up, they used to make this stuff called sizzling. They might still make it. I don't know. But, I think I tasted it once or twice. <coughs> Excuse me. And the deal with sizzling is, they still trying to make it look like something that is not. They added fat. This little squiggles all through it that was white and all this stuff. And, tried to give you that, you know, it's just like when people talk about, like, low-fat stuff. They talk about the fat feel, missing that fat feel in your mouth and all that type of stuff. But fat meat in and of itself in, you know, like in greens that will otherwise be healthy or green beans or beans or whatever you want to say. I've never eaten it and it wasn't, you know, you can suspend the bacon up on a rack and let the grease drip down and the bacon is still greasy. Anytime you drink water, get in water, uh, i.e. submerge yourself, have some water thrown on you, go swimming, you don't get in the pool and come out as dry as you were when you went in there initially. Um, if you drink water, I mean, your mouth gets wet. If you're dribbling, your clothes get wet. I mean, water's wet. Fat meat is greasy. A lot of people... And I have to say this about my own self as well. So when I say a lot of people, I probably should just start personalizing stuff so there's no, you know, miscommunication at all. Um, that don't believe that if a certain thing it is it's just one of those, the two statements basically mean that th this is something that you can depend upon. It's not something you have to guess about, you know, uh, you know, going there and getting a tub. Is it going to ever be a chance that I'm going to come out dry? No, you're going to get wet every time. And so, there are some things that are a constant. 
And you don't have to dream about them and you don't have to think about them. Where we get in error is when we start thinking that there are certain things that we can do that are not going to equate out to what the normal outcome always is. You know, it's like a law, so to speak, without, you know, getting that technical. It's predictable. I know if I eat and eat and eat, it doesn't matter how healthy it is. You can eat a whole bunch of healthy food and still gain weight. Um, And you don't exercise and move your body around initially. Weight will come off just because of probably the type of calorie that you're taking in. Um, not necessarily, you know, like fat calorie uh, is is nine um, kcals versus uh, carbohydrate, which is, I can't even remember anymore. I think it's four. Something like that. There's the big difference between nine and four. Eventually, if you start out that way, but you're still not moving around, your body will adjust to that intake and then you will see yourself do what they call a plateau how you break a plateau get up move around or some people fake their body and you know jolt it with eating more calories and then take it back down but the truth of the matter is is that whenever you watch what you're eating do things in moderation and eat in a way that makes sense and move then you get the same outcome as fat meat being greasy and you get the same outcome as water being wet. It is predictable. You are going to lose weight. And so it's one of those things where, let me mute that because I really don't want to hear that. And um, one of the things that I have uh, used to kind of struggle with was thinking that, you know how people, especially little kids are notorious for this. You trying to tell them something. And this is probably where the statement came from anyway. She don't believe fat meat is greasy. You can't get the wet without the water or the water without the wet. Because when you're young and you got a young man or you got a man that's not renewed or you got uh, some type of egotistical issue going on where rules apply to other people but they never apply to you even though it's a constant. That's when you start buying lessons. And uh, I, frankly, am tired of buying lessons. I have to start looking at things. And when the results start re coming out to be the same result over and over again, whether it's gaining weight or it's relationship, attitudinal, whatever you want to put it in, emotional, whatever. If I'm the common denominator, when this type of activity or behavior comes up, I have to start examining myself, which is the first place you're supposed to look at anyway. Because I'm the only person that I can change. I, if it's a situation or an issue going on and it's a problem and I'm the person that every time this behavior presents, a, you know, a, a, in a setting, this same activity or thing comes up and I'm always there it always happens no matter what the mix is you probably need to look at yourself and that is the thing that i have been working on for at least the last year year and a half why is it that this always turns out like this why is that always like that why is it that things start out like this and then they morph into something else and i'm the common denominator this is something to think about. I'm just saying. But what I did have to come into reality is, is that I need to stop tripping on a lot of stuff. I need to stop tripping with people about some stuff. Because it, there are absolutes in this life. I do believe that. And uh, the things that I hold true to be absolute, I don't have to play with them. And I don't need to have my ear tickled or my nothing. You know, I don't need... It, there are just some things that... You know, and that's where I'm at. Okay, this is another thing. Y'all see me looking over here is because I started this dress. And I'm going to wear this dress. I'm going to wear this dress. I'm going to wear this dress. And I started this dress a while ago. Actually, I got two dresses. And I got so disgusted that I put the dresses in a box and put the lid on the box and put the box in the closet. This one here... Is these are the sleeves here? The dress is 
Oh, right here on my lap. That's how special I'm feeling right now. I started making the dress. I got the pockets in the dress. I got the front and the back together. This is the armhole. These are the sleeves. The facings are in the box. I got my tailor tacks on the material. I, one thing about this type of stuff is I'm notorious for picking classic type materials because under normal circumstances, something I started two years ago would probably be out of date. But not so. I'm going to wear this dress this fall. And I'm going to be alright with wearing it. Meaning I'm not going to be uh, self-conscious. That's what made me stop sewing the dress to begin with. I tried on the shell of it when I got halfway done. And I didn't have my girdle on and all that kind of stuff. But I didn't want to even be thinking about, you know, girls and all that stuff. I got so angry that I just rolled it up and put it in the box. This is the other dress. I started this dress several years ago. This dress, too, is black. Nice little material. And it is, even though it doesn't look like it, this dress is pretty technically almost uh, finished as well. And the same thing happened with it. I got to one of the parts of it, and then I looked at it, and I was just like, this is going to look like a disaster on me. I got upset. This is the bodice part of it. But this is the dress in and of itself. And the one that I am making is the one with, I think it's this one with the long sleeves. I can't remember which view it is. I'm going to wear this dress. I like old stuff. And I'm going to wear this dress. I'm going to finish this dress. This is uh, this is my unfinished business. Some of it. And so, you all. Do you have some unfinished business? Do you need to... Do you have something that you started and you didn't finish? And the reason why you finished was it was just out of personal disgust with yourself. Not something you can blame on somebody else. Just something that you didn't do that you needed to do. Or you got to a point where it just thoroughly frustrated you and you just stopped because you weren't getting it the way you wanted to have it now are you one of these people that don't believe that fat meat is greasy you don't believe that water is wet that those two things always you know present themselves together examine yourself look at yourself don't be looking at other people don't be blaming other people look at yourself I am learning to look at me. I can't change nobody else's stuff. Not their behaviors, nothing. But I can change me. I can pray and I can ask God, you know what, in me. Show me what it is in me that I need to do something better about. And then mean it when you say it because he is faithful and he will do it. And then it's up to you. You have a will. We all do. But I want to finish both of these dresses. And I would like to wear them just because it is something that I started. Just because it is something that I spent money that the Lord allowed me to make on. And I don't like wasting stuff. And just because I want to prove to myself that I can stick to this and finish it. If you haven't got your workout in, get your work in. Workout in. And if you don't plan on doing your workout... Ask yourself why. All right, y'all. That is all I got. Toodles.